Don't eat school meat. Before I get into this story, I want to ask a question. How many times have you heard people complain about cafeteria food, or when you were in school, whether it be elementary, middle school, or high school, how many times have you heard people complain that the school food sucks? <laughs> uh, that's kind of what drew me to this story. It's about a school that apparently serves some kind of weird smelling and tasting meat. One student in particular refuses to eat it because, well, it smells and tastes weird, and they got physically sick for an hour after eating it once. When people eat this meat, it makes them act kind of weird. It's a little tough to describe, but trust me, it makes people act weird. And no one seems to notice, or they just completely turn a blind eye to it. Which, with a lot of things like that, could be a realistic point. When something's obviously not right, some people choose just to ignore it. Apparently, every time a child ends up in detention, they go missing. The cops question the school, can't get any leads, but it come to find out, the school's lying to kind of cover their tracks. So, something is definitely wrong here, and it's almost like an unsolvable case, because, again, the school's kind of sweeping it all under the rug. It's definitely a very bone-chilling creepypasta with an interesting concept, and somewhat relatable. As I said, how many people complain that school food sucks? This isn't a very long creepypasta. It's definitely more psychological. Not a lot of scary things are mentioned, except for, you know, children disappearing and never being seen again. That's a, that's a very horrifying concept. Uh, overall, this is a creepypasta I would definitely recommend. Uh, it's not very long. It's just under five minutes. And it's a pretty interesting story. Check it out.